Hello everyone. I just finished editing the vlog and noticed over the course of a week I collected clips of me reading different books and they aren't very coherent, but I feel like I edited it, edited it, edited it in a way <laughs> where it can be followed to some degree. I haven't vlogged in many years and this was uh, it was fun, it was interesting, it was a little bit difficult to get back into it, but I do hope that uh, you like this. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the Neverland Book Club. We are in a different setting today. We are in my car on our way to my parents' house for a little barbecue something or other happening. I'm not sure what's happening, but we're heading over there today. It is about, let's see how long it'll take, 40 minutes. About a 40 minute drive, not too bad. Saturday, less traffic, no makeup, blah, blah, blah. I forgot to mention this very specific title that came across my radar and I really wanted to listen to it. Specifically listen to it on audiobook. The mother is texting me. It's called The Witch's Heart. It is a woman who was banished from Asgard, I think, so far. I'm, I'm not too far into it. I think she was banished, but she finds Loki in a forest and they fall in love? Maybe have a kid? Hello? So let's, let's, let's listen. Stop. A wife. Loki walked up to her and put his hands on her hips, staring down at the bulge. Can't you take a wife? Ungerboda felt like she needed to sit down, for her heart was pounding so angrily that she feared her head would explode, much like a fish asking if it could swim while in the act of doing so. I've never done a reading vlog before, so this is a little bit strange, because I am now enveloped in the story and I forgot that I'm recording. <laughs> I'm also like paying attention because I'm driving. So um, I'll catch in with you maybe later uh, during a different part of the story when I find something more shocking and I want to, I don't know, update you. We'll see how this goes. Hello everyone, I am at my workplace right now in my scrubs in my lab and nobody is here so I am just doing a little bit of reading on my Kindle. I'm reading from Blood and Ash because it was very, very, very well recommended on all the social medias, on TikTok and Instagram and comments and whatever. I'm on the last hundred pages and it just now started to get interesting. It's very poorly written in my opinion. There are so many things that you could have said in a much better way. The language does not match at all to the tone of the book to the story that you're trying to tell. It's vampires and werewolves, which I didn't know. I didn't know that's the theme here. Oh, but it's vampires and werewolves. Like, really? Isn't that, aren't we like 10 years past that now? I have a lot of complaints about this book, but it just started to get interesting. Like there's a twist within the last like 100 pages. I'm on page 387 of three, six, no, 387 of 464 pages. So I'm almost done. I'll probably finish today, but I just wanted to jump on here and uh, yeah, not a fan so far, but I'm kind of interested to see what kind of cliffhanger this is going to end on because I know there are three books in this trilogy, I think. So will I read the second one? Probably. This is one of the books that I've like kind of questioned, should I DNF this book? I wanted to. I wanted to for uh, the majority of the time reading it, but I didn't. I stuck with it. I'm kind of glad I stuck with it because the last, like, it just started to get interesting, like I said. But will I read the next one? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it ends. I'm also a little bit disappointed in... Sorry about that. I'm also a little bit disappointed in the other book that I started reading, The Witch's Heart. I started listening to it on Audible, and so far, I'm about halfway through and it's like, it's like Loki playing house. It's a little disappointing. It's a little disappointing. It's like hinting that something is about to happen but nothing has happened yet. So I'm waiting and anticipating something about to happen. So we shall see. But yeah, a little disappointed in these two books that I didn't intend to read this month but kind of just fell into reading this month. 
and I haven't really gotten too far on my intended PBR for July. So I'm hoping to finish these like very soon, this one probably today, and the witch's heart soon, and then get on my actual intended TBR. So yeah, this is, you know, me every day when I'm not on my reading couch. See you later. So lost keep reading. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is 7 a.m. on a Saturday and I am on my way to work. Is very sensitive. I am still listening to the witch's heart. I have one hour left, so I'll probably finish it today on my way to and from work. Oh, the sun. I finished Blood and Ash from Blood and Ash. I finished from Blood and Ash, and um, I was very disappointed. I have many thoughts, and none of them are even that good. But I did start reading Kafka on the Shore yesterday, and that I already have very high hopes for. I am enjoying it quite well. Anywho, that is my little Saturday morning update and I hope you're having a very good weekend. I normally post my videos on Saturday, but this week was so... not for me. I had filmed a video, but never got the chance to edit it. So that will be my task for today, and if I can't finish today, then it'll be up tomorrow or Monday, you know. My posting schedule is once a week towards the weekend area. So, I hear geese. Two more for press? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. These mocha frappes from McDonald's are one of Pablo's favorite things in the world. So I got two. I'll give me one for him. I'm listening to the end of The Witch's Heart and we're in the middle of a battle scene. And it seems like the entire book was leading up to this part. So I'm gonna continue to listen, and I'll probably finish by the time I get home. They say she stood her ground against the fires of Ragnarok until the very end, until she was burned a final time, all but her heart reduced to ashes once more. But others say she lives yet. This is Jane Entwistle. We hope you have enjoyed this unabridged production of The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornichek. I really enjoyed that, but it wasn't the best book I've ever read. The narration made it ten times better. I did estimate correctly. It ended as soon as I pulled into my garage. But the rest of the day I need to edit uh, so I can get a video out for you good people. Hello, I am back home and I'm about to edit my review for Later by Stephen King, which is supposed to go out today, but it's probably gonna go out tomorrow or Monday, like I said earlier. Yeah, hang out with me. This is reading adjacent, right? Hello everyone in the- I have a crumb on my lip the whole intro and I'm so mad at my husband slash cameraman for not noticing it, but I do acknowledge it at some point, which you probably have already seen, so I don't know why I'm telling you. Carry on. As much work as these videos can be, they make me smile. It's a lot of fun. It's funny. I love it. When was the last time I did this? It's been so long. Look who's with me. We're back in the car. And I'm taking a break from, from edit to ting, to ting, to ting. ting no, that's, ting. A, that's the part and, you should have and blocked what? the edit. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. When did you do that? I did. I've been vlogging in secret and you haven't even been seeing me. Are you talking to the camera? I'm talking to you. <laughs> what? Oh. I thought you meant, are you talking to me right now? Oh, no, I meant. Right. We're having a, a quick little errand run to go put something in something that has to do with money. 
So that sounded really bad. <laughs> <laughs> And there will be money. There will be money exchanged. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god! What the hell? Did you get any of that? L.A. I don't know if I got any of that. There was a man and another man. There was a man kneeling in a pile of dirt, and then another man with a camera, with and a phone. then he it was just, just a phone. with just oh, just a phone. Yeah, pointing his face. And, and he just took kneeling man's face. He just, the kneeling man in the dirt just took a giant handful of dirt and just put it on his face. <laughs> What's he doing? And there was a third man watching. Uh, I love going down this road. It's, it's so it's so fun. It feels like a little roller coaster. Like they go fast, but there's I don't like when there's a loop. I don't want to be upside down. You know how much I hate being upside down. But if they go fast, like like um, what is what is the what is the thing called? What is that one called? At Disneyland, Space Mountain, Space Mountain, where you go inside, like it's Space like Mountain? I love Space Mountain. You're inside, and he goes through this like tunnel, and it's like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and now it's Star Wars themed, and I haven't been since it's been Star Wars themed, so we no, have to go. Not. I remember going on it when it was Star Wars themed, and I've really? never done alone. No, last through. time you went, it was with me. And Did Ethan. I go alone with Ethan? You went alone sure? with Ethan once, and then you went with me. Oh, let's go. Can we go, please? No, Come on, go Disneyland. Want to go Disneyland? Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. Wow, what a right. cool man. He's wearing a helmet just to be safe while walking down the street. occasion because we're finally finishing how I met your mother I want to know I need to know how you met their mother Ted Ted how did you meet her Um, I don't know what the last thing you saw was. I don't know what the last clip I got was. It's been a few days. Um, I finished reading From Blood and Ash. I finished reading The Witch's Heart. I have a lot to say about both of them, and I think I think both of them kind of deserve their own reviews, so stay tuned for that. And I just started reading Murakami's Kafka on the Shore. Um, I'm only about 50 pages in, and I love it so far. It is very different than um, the first Murakami book that I read, which was... Norwegian Wood with Chelsea. It feels very different. It feels a little bit more eerie, a little bit more like, I don't know what's going on just yet, which is interesting. Half of it is told in a way that's like the FBI's transcripts of interviews of like people that experienced this strange phenomenon. And then the other half is, is the first person experience of a young boy that ran away from home. So completely different. I'm not sure how they're gonna tie in, if they ever will tie in but I'm enjoying it. It is a very lovely, sunny, bright, warm afternoon where I am. I hope wherever you are, you're reading a nice book in a nice place as well. I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I don't know what it's gonna look like until I edit it and everything and see if it's even worth posting or not, but hopefully there's something here worth viewing. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more sit downs, which is more of my forte. And then even some vlogs here and there if I feel like that would be a better way to experience a book with me. Either way, please do subscribe. I would love to have you on the journey with me and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Hey.
Hey, Zuko. <gasps> well, there it is. There you have it. That was vlog number one of the Neverland Book Club. Thank you all so much for watching and getting this far into the video. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see more or less or anything you think uh, can be changed, please put them in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions. Today's shout out goes to everyone that encouraged me to vlog. Everyone that left a comment saying that they would love to see a vlog. Thank you all so much for your kind words and, and, and for watching and being a part of our little family. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. Stay lost, keep reading. Goodbye!